Hi, this is a quick video about rewiring a 110 volt LH15A to work on 220. I am not an electrician. I'm not really making a recommendation. I'm just showing what I did. I've had several people, including Jordan, who recently asked me uh, how to do this. So here's what I've done. Now, let me give you a quick overview of this machine, because if your machine isn't enough of a match, you could just burn your machine out. Um, note that this is LH004B for that board. This is the board that actually drives the high power section down here. That board, you can't really see it, but it's an LH26. The machine itself was made in 2015, 726, I believe, and that's an LHA-0 dash A0985, and that might be a more precise model number. Um, and then if we look on the other side, we can see this is more or less the logic board here. Um, and that's, pardon me, I'm getting in my own light. Oh, there it is, LH004A, the other one was a B, and then the high power components down here, and this was my clue that this really could be a 220 machine, that is where the power really comes in, and those capacitors, uh, that's quite a bank of capacitors, those could really work you over if they're not discharged, this machine has been uh, unplugged for days actually and not used so I'm not particularly worried those discharge relatively quickly because they are electrolytic capacitors but they're 450 volts so I figured that that and this rectifier looked like they were rated for well over 220 so I figured the power section of this was really a 220 power but as you can see here this uh, contactor is 110 volts hard to see but back under here 110 volt transformer um, so those need to run at 110 volts but the rest is isolated electrically from the drive circuitry which comes here and drives these these are the power um, insulated gate by junction no bipolar transistors um, that's the power section that's all 220 capable this is driven off of uh, logic levels which are supplied by this transformer um, and so those need to be fed with 110 the 220 comes in on this unit comes over to here so the key change is this needs to be wired to ground really should be wired to neutral, but this unit's only set up with um, two hots and a ground. So you're actually making a ground fault, and if you have a ground fault interrupter on this, it won't work, but you could bring a neutral wire to, to here if you really needed to, but this works fine for me, and it probably will work if you do something similar, if your unit is compatible with what I've done. So this has been basically cut apart and I've used wire nuts. We'll talk about a better way to do that in a second. And I've run a single wire down to the ground lug, to the ground lug. So instead of getting one of the hots coming in on the back, that's just going to ground. Um, and then on the back, I've labeled one as hot and one is hot slash neutral. Theoretically, this machine would still work just fine on 110. And I labeled it, never tried it on 110, but if I ever had to do a demo somewhere or something, I might just do that. Okay, so here's what I would recommend you do. If you don't have this stuff, go to the hardware store, get yourself Female terminals, this wire gauge of 16 to 14 American wire gauge would be just fine. That's the female crimp terminal. That's going to go right here. And you can just 
work this one off. It takes a little bit of work, working back and forth, prying with a screwdriver or something. But you can pull that one off, put a little electric tape over it so that it doesn't wander around in here and short things out. Crimp that onto your onto some wire, you know, get yourself some 14 gauge wire, 16 gauge wire. This doesn't carry a lot of current, so it's not going to matter. Um, crimp this terminal on one end, and then on the other end, you want a loop like this. This isn't quite big enough. I had a larger one. Uh, you could use something like this with more of the spade approach. Um, this one seemed to actually fit when I kind of put it on the back. So that would work. That can work loose. A loop can't. Um, put a long enough wire in between. Unscrew that from the back. Put it all together with this screwed in here. And make sure you have your um, ground wire coming in there and it should work works quite nicely for me hopefully it will work for you forge on and make beautiful things